Okay, so cool. So we're going to do kind of a devotional type meditation. And I just want to absolutely reiterate, uh, this doesn't, you don't have to, what is it, like see some sort of commitment and consistency in the rest of your life, like, oh, I'm a Buddhist and I believe this. No, this is just, we're going to be doing kind of like a devotional meditation with the object being the Buddha. And it's all just light, fun and games. I don't know that the Buddha existed. Uh, the teachings are useful anyway. Who knows? So we're going to keep a really light attitude around all of this. Um, okay. So, so what, what we're going to do for the actual meditation is imagine the Buddha. So I'm sure you all have an image of the Buddha and you want one that you find personally inspiring. And then to be clear, it's not a person, it is an enlightened one, an awakened one. So you want to develop like a sense of devotion and kind of like bliss uh, around this concept and this visualization, et cetera. So that's gonna be the more heart end of it. And then I'm also gonna encourage like um, an opening up of awareness to a place of emptiness, non-duality, et cetera. So we're gonna mix this quality of devotion, love, and emptiness. And then let, let me just absolutely reiterate, this is gonna be kind of like really uh, iterative. Not a, nobody's gonna get this right. Um, and just have like this super light attitude around all this. Okay. So again, what are we going to be doing? So we're, this is just a pre-meditation and then I'll lead us in. But so go ahead and straighten up. Be the image of the Buddha that you're going to be generating. And then the verbiage that I'm going to be using is homage to all the Buddhas and ancestors, homage to all the Buddhas and ancestors but you should use a verbalization that works for you. And then now feel like this bliss in the body to whatever extent you can. Feeling the bliss, seeing an image of the Buddha. And then saying a verbalization that encourages devotion. So something along the lines of homage to all the Buddhas or homage to all the Buddhas and ancestors. Okay, good. And so now we're going to like do a meditation about the meditation. So we're gonna see ourselves doing this. We're gonna see ourselves fall off the wagon, get distracted. Then when we, when we see ourselves falling off, it's like, oh, no problem. Just getting right back on. And then maybe if we get a little emotionally dysregulated, we come in there and soothe ourselves. Okay, good. So we see the meditation going well. And then we see that we get done with the meditation and that we're full of bliss. And we're like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. <laughs> I'll do this. I'll do this some more this week. Okay, great. All right, cool. So now we'll, uh, we'll start with a little bit of chanting. So many of you know this, um, you know, this really canonical, um, Homage to the Buddha. It goes like this: Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhasa. So we'll all say that three times, and then we'll get into some breath exercises, etc. So okay, inhaling the hands to heart center. Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhasa. Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhasa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhasa Very good. Now for some breathing exercise. Inhaling the arms up. Retaining the breath, bringing the arms to the side. Now start exhaling, we're folding the hands towards each other. And it's like we're moving through syrup. 
extending the exhale. Now inhale deeply. Retain the breath, bring the arms out to the side. Start exhaling, folding the hands together. We're going to meet at about the sternum. Extending the exhale about twice as long as the inhale. Inhale deeply. Retain the breath. Arms out to the side. Exhale. Hands are coming together. Inhale. Now turn over to your right, drop the arms down and look over your right shoulder, retaining the breath. Exhale, returning back to center, extending the exhale. Inhale, the arms up. Turn over to your left, turn towards your left. Bring the arms down, look over your left shoulder. Exhale back to center. Inhale the arms up again. Interlace the fingers, bring them down to the head. Go over to your right side. Deep stretch in the left side body. Exhaling back to center, releasing the hands down to the lap. Inhale deeply. Interlace the fingers, bring them down to the head, over to your left side, deep stretch in the right side body as you're retaining the breath. Exhale, coming back to center. Dropping down the hands. Okay, good. Now, if your hands are clean, uh, uh, we're gonna do this mudra with the right hand. And then we're gonna take the right thumb and put it on the right nostril and inhale through the left nostril. Tension retain. Release the right nostril, exhale. Inhale through the right nostril. Tension retain. Exhale out the left. Inhale through the left. Pinch and retain. Release the right, exhale and release. Okay, good. Okay, opening the eyes. And just taking in the whole visual field. And then there's this quality of bliss and friendliness. Gratitude. So awareness and friendliness are interpenetrating. Closing the eyes. Now bringing your attention to internal thoughts. And again, greeting everything with a smile. Both awareness and friendliness. Now letting that go and then listening, hearing. And hearing the internal chatter, internal talk, or internal silence. Likewise, opening up to that.
Just opening up. Now take a deep breath and feel the whole body all at once. Exhale, feeling the whole body all at once. And we're gonna do a quick body scan, so feeling the legs and the feet. And then greeting that with friendliness. Now feeling the whole torso, the hips, etc. Now feeling the arms and the hands. Now the head and the neck. Now take a deep breath and feel the whole body all at once. Exhale, feeling the whole body all at once. Now checking in with the emotions. And there's this quality of unconditional acceptance, unconditional receptivity. Whatever's coming up, just opening to that sweetly, just as much as we can. Okay, good, and letting that go. Okay, so now we're gonna do a little bit more of like an emptiness type meditation. And then we're gonna remember that and, and bring it into the primary meditation so that we have the primary meditation kind of being this combination of devotion and emptiness. So, okay. We're sitting here and then look at the mind. Try to find the mind. Now quickly change perspective and see what is aware of this. What is aware of awareness? Just looking. And now what's looking? So now we'll come into a couple other different angles. Feel the skin. Feel the skin of the whole body. See if you can tell where the skin starts and the room stops or the atmosphere stops. And really feel that place. And now quickly, what is aware of this? And now what is aware of this awareness? Who's having this experience? I am, but who am I?
Very good. So put that as basis. Now let's generate an image of the Buddha or even just some other teacher that you find compelling. White, white light. It's above you, in front of you. The Buddha is smiling, you're smiling. And there's this gratitude, friendliness, and also exuberance. There's something thrilling about this. And then thinking back to this experience of emptiness we just had, there's something thrilling about the taste of freedom. The taste of non-fixity, insubstantiality, openness. And we're smiling. And then we come back to the visualization. And we can start with our verbalization. You can choose your own, but one that works for me is homage to all the Buddhas and ancestors. Homage to all the Buddhas and ancestors. And smiling, feeling the bliss in the body, the exuberance, the spaciousness. Like the spaciousness grows and grows and grows. And as it grows, it makes more and more space for the exuberance and bliss and devotion. And then if there are thoughts that, oh, maybe my life is not consistent with this kind of devotion, you can totally ignore that. It's just a thought. You don't have to change anything. You don't have to do anything. We're just doing this for the sake of doing it. Now back to the visualization. Seeing the sweet, serene smile of the Buddha. And seeing that there's both compassion and wisdom. And there's this quality of joining. That the minds link up and become one. Your mind is the same as the mind of the Buddha. Come back to the visualization, the verbalization, the felt sense of devo devotion, bliss, happiness, ease in the body. And the Buddha is before you, kind of above you, in white, uh, silvery moonlight. And it just fills you with bliss, devotion, love, gratitude for the path.
So using your verbalization, if that helps, the posture's good. There's a smile on the face, there's bliss in the body, ease, openness. And there's this open, expanding emptiness, open awareness that keeps expanding and expanding, making more room for bliss, joy, love, devotion, gratitude, homage. And then we're finding this personally nourishing. There's this expanse, there's this exuberance.
Then we can start wrapping this up. But before we do, go ahead and relax the body, relax the mind. We're not applying any kind of technique. And now, just look at the quality of the mind itself. Is there any openness, receptivity, ease, emptiness? Open awareness, the natural state. Take it. So, may this practice work for us in such a way that others benefit as well. <laughs>